best hog. Built this uh, 1979 F100 together with uh, Myron Sanko and yeah, yeah, work at uh, Eagle Builders here in Black Folks. Just work at. What's that? Just work at. <laughs> yeah. the president and owner of Eagle Builders. Yeah, president and owner of Eagle Builders. <laughs> yeah. uh, and my name is Myron Sanko, as Dennis said, and. Uh, he convinced me to build him a uh, over-the-top 1979 F100. So that's what we did. And uh, and then, like, do you have a, a shop? Like, what's your shop name? So? Um, I don't have an official shop okay. yet. I just kind of uh, build them as a hobby. Right. But it's kind of turning into a business. So okay. I need to uh, get a company going with the name. Yeah. Hopefully. So yeah. It's funny how, yeah, it started because when I brought the truck up in the car carrier, they dropped off in the yard and then his brother, Kevin, he runs a quick line crane for us. And yeah, I rolled it off the truck and he seen it and he's like, oh, my brother would love to do that. Yeah. He's like, do you got anyone to build them? I'm like, no. So yeah, so I, did, I think that night even or the next day. And yeah. There it went. That's cool. Yeah, because Rob, my buddy Rob, yeah, yeah, he's the one that inspired me to, yeah, we found this truck on, what is it, Hot Rod Dirty? Yeah, Hot Rod Dirty. Yeah, yeah. and brought it up, and, but yeah. him, he wanted to do it at nights with me in the garage, I'm like, <laughs> Rob, I have no time for this. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think got it in 2020. 2020. Yeah, brought it up. Uh, yeah, pre-COVID and yeah, kind of worked through the COVID era and yeah. managed to get the parts. And yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> before, <laughs> well, no, before the shortage, we got everything like right at the kind of the cutoff point. And oh, okay. It came together probably faster than I've ever built anything in my life. Um, I don't think it needed to be a year, it? just under a year to build a truck from yeah. the ground up, full yeah. roaster shop chassis. And, Custom Coyote motor and trendy and all that good stuff. What did the truck look like when you guys got it? Basically the same as it is now, just a lot more rust, like real rust and uh, in stock form. So stock ride height. Like, yeah. Some aftermarket wheels and it's pretty much stock and stuff like that. Everything was stock in here. Yeah. I think the wheels were the only that were stock and the, the seat oh. and the steering wheel had already been wow. covered. Oh, everything else was original. You yeah, used stock motor and stuff too. Stock motor. Oh, wow. oh yeah. Okay. yeah. Stock fuel tank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, tell us about the uh, the motor. The motor is a uh, was formed for racing. It's the Coyote Illuminator, I believe they call it. It's a boost ready built motor. Yeah. And then we put the 10 R tranny out of the 20 20 Mustang. Okay. And then I uh, talked to some a couple of turbos on it. Yeah. And uh, MMR intake and made 750 horsepower at 16 PSI okay. at the wheels. So nice. very, very healthy. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Who's that here? Who's that? Both 76 mil zone motors. Cool. And then you said road, roadster shop chassis? Yeah, full roadster shop chassis, uh, front and rear independent suspension. Uh, with four nine inch in the back, yeah. and we didn't go completely crazy on the chassis. We, we stuck with the steel lower upper lower control arms just to save some cost and keep a little bit of reliability into it. Um, fuel tank, they supplied fuel brake lines, all nice. that stuff. And then I actually modified the frame, moved the motor back three inches and down a little bit to make room for turbos and and coal pipe and stuff like that. And then uh, oil system had to be modified and custom exhaust system, obviously. Mm -hmm. And everything else pretty much is what it is, custom build.
wheels and tires. Uh, I think two piece or they're one piece aluminum wheel. Spudnik. Uh, Spudnik. Yeah. Is it Spudnik or Spudnik? Spudnik. Spudnik. Yeah. Spudnik. Spudnik. Spudnik wheels with uh, Sport Cup two Corvette tires on them, wherever they are. Which, yeah, you helped me. Uh, yeah, we did a couple renders. Design and yeah. do some renders together. You were you were pretty set on uh, powder coating them initially, and then I think you, you must have seen them in. I, I talked them out of it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not a shiny wheel guy, but we started because uh, the truck has chrome-ish accents all around it. So we started with the shiny wheels, and he hasn't called me yet to get them coated. That's good. They do look good. They, they suit the truck. They suit the truck very well. I think. Yeah, we felt we could always powder coat them after the fact. You always have to go, it's tough to go back after that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and then interior was, uh, is that the original bench that I came with or? Yeah. Yeah. The whole interior was original except for the Dakota Digital Dash. Okay. And okay. whose controller we hit in the glove box. So. And put air conditioning in there, which we did. Nice. Yeah, air conditioning, new carpet. Yeah. And uh, a little bit of sound ending. Yeah. But so I wanted to problem. keep it as, original booking as possible. Like yeah. didn't want to put all new screens, but that Dakota Digital is pretty Yeah, I mean they're they're pretty much the standard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And same with the it's the stereo's resto mod right. deck and uh, and then everything else is hidden. Yeah. And so like what how much uh, how how far did you guys go with the custom stereo system uh, it's just two tens behind the seats. Okay. Yeah. Some good mid tweeters and that's about it. Yeah. Oh, so the oh, engine is so. what uh, the engine turbos is what a guy wants to hear. The steering yeah, is kind of oh, definitely, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unless you're driving around with your youngest boy, yeah, and he wants to hear the, <laughs> yeah, hear the subs. Yeah, yeah. And then you said uh, full custom exhaust. Uh, so what are you guys running for mufflers? Uh, we we did have a set of Borla. It was dual three inch exhaust with Borla, um, straight to mufflers, just there off the shelf muffler okay. and then we ended up taking them out and putting a set of 12 inch vibrance in place of the borlas um, just to get some sound out of it okay because the turbos killed the sound yeah. a lot more than anticipated yeah and uh for the horsepower that you're driving around with, it was way too quiet yeah yeah and so we yeah last spring by her through the winter by her took it in nice so. Yeah, the, the doors were gone. The over top of the rear tires was gone. Uh, at the, the roof sill and all the way down the back side of the door was all completely gone. Yeah. And there was some other box had some pretty serious damage. So a uh, body shop in Red Deer called Red Deer Collision. They had a young guy in there that took it on and um, could not have been more impressed with the work that he did. Yeah, that's good. No one's like, we fake some of the patina, like no one's, no one really notices it. Yeah. Unless you're a real car enthusiast yeah. and you're right yeah. up there, but a lot of people don't. But yeah. I was worried, yeah, because obviously from mm -hmm. the pictures we saw from Hot Road Dirty yeah. to when we got it here, just a little misled, but yeah, yeah the guys are at uh, the Red Deer, Red Deer Collision, Red Deer Collision like, yeah. Yeah, I think they're into hot rods themselves and they did an awesome job. Just reinforced the whole yeah. Yeah, door. That's awesome. And blended in that too. Yeah. 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 And then clear coated the whole truck with like a satin clear coat just right. to kind of keep the, the look of it so you can drive every day and enjoy it and Perfect. not yeah. have to worry about it. Yeah. And then it actually the, the box floor, we had to lift the box floor up three or four inches. 
and I took a uh, C10 lawn box floor and was able to fit it perfectly inside the floor box. And yeah. Minimal trimming and fits perfect, doesn't rattle, looks stock, and pretty happy with No one's noticed that either, I don't think. No one's picked it up, but when I point it out, then they're like, they can tell we tub, we had to tub it. Yeah, we tub it, yeah. For the wheels. Yeah. But the box, no one's figured out it's the box on top of the box. Yeah. That was uh, the only thing that, yeah, when the chassis came, the truck sat lower than I initially wanted to. I think we shimmed it up, what? Three, three inches. Three wow. inches. Yeah. And I was in, I would have liked it up another four inches, but it is what it is. I, I wasn't going to. Yeah. See that. Yeah. We want a driver, yeah. not so much as a slammed vehicle. Right. Just for everyday use um, and reliability. But then we took the chassis, what it is, shimmed it up, and then put different wheels and just made it fit the look now. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it stands yeah. looks perfect now. Yeah. It's stuck in just the right amount of rim. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Brake kit, what do you guys run for brakes on there? The biggest, baddest brakes you can buy from there. Yeah. Six piston front and rear with a 15 inch rotor. Nice. Didn't do carbon ceramics because, uh, once again, not necessarily streamable or reliable yeah. for a hot rod truck that could be potentially driving down gravel road. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm not driving down gravel. Well, highway too. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much gravel. Yeah. Yeah. Roll yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> um, what kind of things did you guys run into during the build? Like any issues or? Uh, uh, lots of issues because I'm a Chevy guy. Um, and <laughs> first issue is it was a Ford. First issue was a Ford. <laughs> yeah. but, and I tried talking to Dennis. I didn't try talking. I suggested we put a Chevy in it. And then he almost uh, kicked me out of his office. Yeah. <laughs> so once I got onto the Ford motor, the Coyote, um, it's a lot bigger footprint than I'm used to. Uh, and there was no parts necessarily, like no headers available for a twin turbo setup. So I had to build my own headers to the turbo and then complete down pipes and waste gates and everything is custom built, intercoolers, everything, because there was, to my knowledge, nobody else has done that to a 79 era of truck. So, and then once, we got past the hurdles, which were a lot of them. Oil system, it was an issue. Exhaust system was an issue. Intake was an issue. Um, but once we got past those hurdles and on the dyno, it was shockingly good. Yeah. Sounded awesome. Made what, great power. What was the name of that green truck we, I think you reached out to him too to find out? Uh, in the States, that company that, um, and that really, Cool video. Yeah. Or are you talking about that that Frankenstein? Yeah. Is that what he called it? That's um. He was on fast and loud and started his own paint shop. Yeah, it was a paint shop. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can picture and I can see the video. I can't remember his name. But that was another truck that kind of inspired. Like just to, we're gonna keep it forward and yeah. Get all yeah. 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 I'm not. A, I wasn't a big fan of switching it. It would just make the job easier, which isn't obviously a good answer for something like this. So it was worth the effort at the end of the day. Oh, definitely. Tenfold. Turned into a beautiful build. Yeah, very You're not pissing anybody off. No. <laughs> <laughs> and it works, works very well. <laughs> I don't think it's seen high boost or medium boost yet. Yeah. I think it's been on low boost its whole life. Pretty much. Build the truck the same way we like to build projects, Brian. Don't waste time, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. Get, get the whole thing down in less than a year. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's pretty quick for a build of that caliber. And so. for a sideline for Iron. Yeah. Yeah. Turned yeah. into a full time there for a while, and <laughs> wife was helping, and my brother was helping, and we had the whole family in there yeah. working on it all night. Yes, calling me every other day. Yeah. Where's my truck? And then we had we had uh, a lot of issues with the transmission. And uh, the Ford dealership in Red there was a mechanic there that was, he's into the hot rods and he was a huge help. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, having to replace the whole transmission and completely fix the problem. Oh yeah. And so 
Ford came good on that. Ford, yeah, Ford Performance. They they honored the warranty on it. Okay. Um, we, I had to pay for the labor, but we could not get a tune. Like, yeah, yeah, tu tuning was a nightmare. Nobody locally would tune it because of the twin turbos on the Coyote. Apparently, had it been a supercharged motor, not a problem. But the uh, so then we got a hold of Palm Beach Dinos in California, I believe they are, and uh, they made it simple. They were very helpful on troubleshooting and all that stuff. So their service was second to none. I think he sent me two tunes and it's, he was happy with it. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, twin turbo kayak motor is not something to see around here ever. No, I don't. Uh, um, Fat Fender Garage, they were the only company that had uh, any, they had done a twin turbo truck Coyote in an older model. Um, and they hired another shop to do the turbo kit and the tuning and everything. So they kind of led me to that guy and, and that was a help also. So I, I used some of his ideas for the layout of the intercooler system and what have you. Dennis wanted to look stock, so. <laughs> and most people don't, like if you pull up a uh, gas station or anywhere, and people are like, oh, you know, we're done to it. Lowered with wheels and yeah. <laughs> that's about it. Yeah. And then the second question is, well, are you going to paint it? I'm like, well, he kind of ran out of money. He doesn't have money to, to pay for it. Yeah. Job, so we just left it old and rusty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I hate the last time. I just, yeah, I said to Mark, I want a truck that you can just roll up to the lights. Yeah. And people don't have a clue yeah. what it is. And then you yeah. can show them, show them what it has. Yeah. yeah. What's, <laughs> what's your favorite thing with the truck there? Um, the kind of horsepower, and uh, I like the sound. The sound is nice. He likes the stereo system. Yeah. He's always, a, and he loves the bench seat because he always sit right beside me, and yeah. he's the DJ. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> and you try to do the burnout once in a while. Hey, you were on one wheel or one wheel spinning? <laughs> I, I haven't. It was on two wheels, but yeah, yeah. I haven't turned the boost on yet because I just it's too scary. Yeah, APSI is comfortable to drive it. I would say. Yeah. Sixteen PSI is uh, a handful for an experienced driver, so that's why we did the boost control, and that was the reason why. The turbos are, I feel, superior to a blower is because um, you can control them a lot easier with the current technology and boost controllers and all that stuff. And yeah. With the 10R, the thing boost like lag is not an issue at all. No. So, no, you can hardly have to touch the pedal. And yeah. <laughs> but, you know, if we put the boost on any wheelie bars. Yeah. <laughs> when we all at the office found out that you were putting twin turbos, we were all a little worried for you. <laughs> I did make the, the front of the truck, so if you ever accidentally put two wheels in the ditch, that it has a big aluminum skid plate on the whole front oh, yeah. to the front K members. So That's good. It, it's just for drivability. Once again, you never know when you run up on something. Yeah. Please don't have to get a phone call saying my truck is broken good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Rather bend up one of those in your oil pan or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs>
how uh, how wide are the rear wheels? It's wise when you get them. I think three three twenty five or three thirty five. Okay, three twenty five. Yeah. Could uh, I think the next set will be a little bit wider? I think wider on the back and skinnier on the front. Yeah. Um, and then any uh, thanks or shout outs or anything like that you guys want to give for the build of the car? Any sponsors or anybody who went above and beyond or that you haven't mentioned already? Like for me personally, yeah, Meyer, like I couldn't have done this without him. And yeah, my buddy Rob, just for getting me into it. Just sit around the campfire chatting and yeah, yeah start turning the wheels. My wife thinks it's a midlife crisis. <laughs> the Corvette was a midlife crisis. This is yeah, <laughs> yeah this is passion. This is, <laughs> a, good, this is a good life decision, but this is yeah. <laughs> no, I just just a yeah something different to drive, and it's been a lot of fun. And but yeah, I'd say the Red Deer um, collision with the. Yeah, restoring the body. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Rust and and yeah. by by body. Vibe car audio the other day helped us out with stereo. Nice. And then uh, Vax Performance out of Calgary. They they were the ones that uh, worked with Zona Rotor to spec out a set of turbos because uh, according to Zona they've never done one for a five liter coyote. So it was a bit of a test run and uh, they did a hundred percent job, so that could have done the turbo system without them. Nice. So that was nice to be able to do it the first try and get it right, and yeah. not have to buy more exhaust housing and stuff like that. <laughs> and then you were saying this was some of the first ones to come up to Canada. Yeah, as far as I know, Zotto Road is not even most people don't even know yeah, the I company. Before, yeah. um, but by far the most exotic turbo, like stainless center sections stainless exhaust housing, um, like the best materials you can use on a turbo, they like make standard yeah. and the the options for sizing was incredible. Yeah. So I ended up buying these turbos for my car after the fact because I was so impressed with them and uh, yeah I was made it all worthwhile for sure. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well I appreciate you guys coming out and down with me and going over the track and uh, we'll go take some good photos and video of it. Okay.